With our current school year about to come to an end, well, preparations for next school year are already underway in many areas, including transportation. But we need your help on this one. If bus transportation is in your child's plan for next school year, then let's hop on board and roll out the details. With nearly 600 square miles of coverage in Wilson County, around 2 million miles driven annually by our bus drivers, and close to 40% ridership amongst our 20,000 students, yeah, getting the best planned bus rider headcount for next school year is very important, and the pre-registration process is a great way to accomplish that. Every little thing that we can do to become more efficient or have a better process benefits us in the long run. If we have 125 students registered to a bus, maybe only 40 of them ride, so we have to weed them out the first two weeks of school. So with this pre-registration, we'd like parents to get out there, register their students for a bus in the morning and bus in the afternoon. That way we knew who's going to be riding the bus and who is not. So if your child is planning to utilize bus service to or from school, or even both for next school year, Here's how to put your tally on the planning sheet. Okay, here's what the form is going to look like. Uh, once you go to Scour, you want to open up the Family Access tab, and once you do that, locate the online forms, and there will be several forms that will come down. But well, the one you're looking for is the transportation request for the 2023-2024 school year. Go ahead and fill that out by uh, opening that tab, and you'll go to Custom Form. And that will ask you those very simple self-explanatory questions. If you need transportation for morning, afternoon, either or, whatever the case may be, maybe you're a family with a student with an IEP, that's there for you as well. There's an additional section at the bottom for comments if you need to uh, do that as well. So again, all very simple. Once you've completed that, you'll go to the next step and that puts you to a platform that says submit the transportation request for the 2023-2024 school year. Very, very simple. This form will be ready to go on Monday, May 1st and go through the entire month of May. And while it's not a requirement, your willingness to complete the form and submit it, it will go a very long way in helping the transportation and operations staffs build a quality busing logistics plan for next school year. What it does, it creates information that goes back to our transportation department um, so that they can work over the summer to make these routes so that we don't have buses going down a road starting the first week of school and there's no students riding the bus that go down that road so therefore the bus is later and all that. We'll, we'll, we'll end up being able to give parents a better window of time that the bus is going to arrive to pick them up and also on the return trip home. So help us help you as we hope to get a really great response from this so that the data can be put to use in helping you and your children receive the best bus service possible through our available resources. We're doing wave routes where uh, students have to be held at school in the afternoon for ele our elementaries. They go deliver a set of kids, they have to come back to the school and then de uh, deliver the remaining set of the kids in that one development. This will help with that tremendously. The reason we're doing it is to try to create a better product, service product, for our students and their families. So by pre-registering, that will give us time in the summer to build routes in the most efficient manner, which is important uh, in regards to the total transportation system. Oh, and one more thing before we go. If you or someone you know wants to join our transportation team as a driver for next school year, then there's no time like the present to reach out if interested. I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools.